sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide both the chemicals are used as cleaning agents in this lesson we are going to learn which one in which case functions properly let's get started caustic soda that means sodium hydroxide is used in toilet bowl cleaner and ammonia solution that means ammonium hydroxide is used in glass cleaner let's see sodium hydroxide is used in toilet bowl cleaner and ammonium hydroxide is used in glass cleaner now the point is what problem will be arised when ammonium hydroxide is used in toilet cleaner and sodium hydroxide is used in glass cleaner this is the point to be discussed let's go to the detail this problem can be clarified by two points let's see the points one by one first point is strength of sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide here the value of pkb of sodium hydroxide is around 0.2 and pkb of ammonium hydroxide is around 4.8 from this data we can say that sodium hydroxide is much more stronger than ammonium hydroxide the smaller the value of pkb the base will be stronger and the higher the value of pkb the base will be weaker so here sodium hydroxide is stronger base than ammonium hydroxide and the dirt present on the toilet bowl is of high concentration to remove this dirt of high concentration a stronger base is used that means sodium hydroxide is used if ammonium hydroxide is used then it cannot function properly because of its weakness so in toilet bowl cleaner sodium hydroxide is used not ammonium hydroxide now let's see the second point second point is ingredients of toilet bowl and glass first of all toilet bowl which is a kind of ceramic here the components are clay alumina silicon carbide tungsten carbide these are the major components of ceramics open ceramics are covered in decorative waterproof and paint like substances known as glazes when sodium hydroxide is used to clean toilet bowl then sodium hydroxide cannot react with these components that is why 
sodium hydroxide can be used in toilet bowl cleaner easily so in toilet bowl cleaner sodium hydroxide can be used without any problem now let's see components of glass here the major component is silica that means silicon dioxide and limestone calcium carbonate and sodium carbonate etc in glass the major ingredient is silica silicon dioxide if sodium hydroxide is used in glass cleaner then this sodium hydroxide reacts with the component of glass silicon dioxide and as a result sodium silicate and water are formed here we see that when sodium hydroxide is used in glass cleaner then it reacts with silica and form sodium silicate and water in this way glass is decayed that means destroyed sodium hydroxide can destroy or decay glass but ammonium hydroxide cannot react with silica because of its weakness so it is justified to use sodium hydroxide in toilet bowl cleaner and ammonium hydroxide in glass cleaner sodium hydroxide is a strong base that can remove dirt of high concentration from the toilet bowl easily and ammonium hydroxide is used in glass cleaner so that it cannot react with the component of glass silica so sodium hydroxide in toilet bowl cleaner and ammonium hydroxide in glass cleaner now today thank you very much